So here is something that is just begging to be shown. Um, I was not looking forward to this, uh, but I had to try it, and I'm, I'm really kind of impressed. Um, it's the Pro Photo Connect Pro. It's a nice unit, and the size, which you know, is my key, and I'm sure it's a lot of your key factor. Um, on the M bodies, um, this being the M11, of course, is really not that bad. Um, that was my biggest worry, was size. Um, and my initial review of this um, has been really positive but I'm gonna try it in studio today uh, to see how it is. But I just wanted you to see the form factor on this before I tested it on the TTL level. The other uh, absolutely amazing thing, now I don't use high-speed sync very often at all because uh, I don't wanna lose the power of the strobe, but you know, having every available uh, tool is not a bad thing. Um, so this now does high speed sync on Leica cameras. Um, and that's impressive. Uh, you know, this goes up to one four thousandth. And I, you know, I, I think for a lot of people that's gonna be, um, you know, really interesting. Um, you know, just taking this camera yet to another level. Um, and like I said, uh, you know, it doesn't protrude too far, um, which a lot do, and it's not too, too big, and it is lightweight, in, in my opinion. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not minding this at all. I'm not minding the, the size, the look, um, uh, or the feel of it. And, you know, the use of it so far, I mean, it's been somewhat intuitive, um, I think. <laughs> so um, I'm happy with it. But I'll do a quick shoot and just a, like a test to see how the TTL is and uh, how the high-speed sync is, and, and we'll go from there. Uh, but so far, so good. So if you really want to test a flash, there's no better way to do it. White background, subject all in black, pale skin. This will test the hell out of this. So this is the A10. Um, first shots out, straight TTL, no adjustments. I'm at ISO 200. Um, 1 80th of a second and f4 give or take um, and these are straight out of camera nothing's touched with them um, I just wanted to give you the bare straight I'm using a 35 millimeter lens just nothing special about this at all um, it, it did fine with the a10 uh, or the b10 I apologize um, but I really wanted to play with this thing and try every light with it and, and push it to its limits. And believe me, uh, TTL, TTL on, you know, this kind of subject, you know, when she's in black, the backdrop's in white, and there's a lot of the backdrop showing, um, you know, but I'm, my metering is um, highlight uh, weighted right now. So, you know, it, it may be different if I did a spot, um, so your metering is going to matter in this, these kind of situations when you have this, and, and this is extreme, but you can't really go to a job and say, you know, I'm sorry, my flash didn't work correctly. It was an unfair advantage <laughs> because of what they were wearing or what the background was. So um, I really wanted to test this uh, without making adjustments. I just, now granted with any of these shots, you know, a one minor adjustment would have fixed everything, uh, you know, for this subject and this background. So this is obviously hot, um, you know, bare, full, bare bulb. But, you know, can this be pulled out? Absolutely, it's not blown out. You know, here is just a slight adjustment on highlights and it's fine. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's shooting a little hot with a straight bare. That's the A2. Um, and then I just put the softbox on it uh, to see how that came out. And, you know, the first thing I wanted to test was obviously high-speed sync. So this is eight thousandths of a second. Um, 
I didn't make any other adjustments. So, you know, you can't expect the flash in high speed sync to just work. <laughs> You've got to make adjustments even with TTL because the A2 is a speed light. And, you know, um, at ISO 200 and one eightieth of a second, or I'm sorry, eight, eight, four thousandths of a second, it was four thousandths of a second. Now I took it down to five hundredth of a second, uh, no other adjustments. I'm at F4, F5.6. It works, um, you know, so high speed sync worked which made me happy. Now here is just bare A1. Um, you're not expecting this to do well, and lo and behold, I was right. <laughs> um, you know, this straight flash like this, it's, it is picking up that black um, more than the backdrop, you know, because of the highlight weighted. Now, I, I could make adjustments to my... Um, metering which would probably help quite a bit but like I said I just wanted this out of camera out of box into camera bloom here it is okay really quick follow-up so I know some of these images look like oh god this thing doesn't work but remember I pulled it out of the box I put batteries in it I put it on auto and I didn't change anything you know, I didn't make any adjustments whatsoever. Um, and I'm on highlight weighted metering, I believe, which, yeah, actually, let me double check that. I, I, I don't want to, because obviously I, I'm, I'm going to make adjustments anyway. So, yeah, I was on highlight weighted metering. Um, and that may not be the best metering for TTL flash uh, with this camera. So, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you know, I'm looking at a product. I wanted to see how it fit on the camera. I wanted to see the weight. Um, I wanted to see if it worked. And this new added feature with firmware 1.6.0 for the M11 <laughs> allows high-speed sync on an M camera for the first time. That's impressive. Um, did it work? Yes. Did I, will I have to make adjustments? Absolutely. But I don't want to show you photos you know, these pristine photos coming out of the box, because you don't get that. You have to make adjustments. Even though it's TTL, you gotta like set it up so it works with the situation you're in, the backdrop, the clothing, the, the everything. There's, there's factors. Um, and I know they make it seem like you just take it out of the box and it works. It's none, none of the products, whether it's Godox or Profoto or Bronco, they, you have to make adjustments. I don't use TTL very often, I really don't. But if I need it in a pinch, even the ones that seem blown out can be brought back. And one final, one quick adjustment, just like turn the wheel a little bit while you're on the fly to subtract light um, right on the remote and you're done. You know, minus 0.7 and these, those photos would have been perfect. They would have been great. I would have got what I needed. Um, anyway, so that's the gist of it. I, I just didn't want you to think, oh God, this sucks <laughs> because of these images. I'm, I'm shooting bare. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. I'm not here to review a product and sell it. Uh, I'm here to show you what it looked like out of the box. Um, is the product good? Yes. It's fantastic that we have this kind of remote for an M body, um, and I'm excited to use it. I'm sure the Profoto Connect Pro on a Nikon or a Canon are going to be spectacular. Um, it just gives you so much more options um, versus the old remotes, the old Airs, and even you know my Connect. Um, the other factor was I was worried about because the connect is so small, you know, is this going to get in my way? Is it going to be bothersome? It, it actually wasn't. It was actually a really nice form factor. Um, so, you know, that being said, I just wanted to show you what it could do, what it looked like, how it worked. Um, and yeah, it's actually impressive, even though the images don't show that it's an impressive remote. Um, but I will do a shoot where I actually make adjustments, um, and let the thing do what it does. Anyway, have a great day.